Put the leaves back on the trees Turn the sun back up to heat Let this summer last for one more week Find yourself an open field Feel the earth beneath your feet Let this summer last for one more week Hello, I'm, I'm Dave Pegg, I'm the co-presenter of the Cropredy Music Festival, Fairport's Cropredy Convention, and the bass player in Fairport Convention, a well-known folk rock band in our 51st year. <sighs> Last year, Jerry Colvin, we booked him, God only knows why I booked him, I never again, it just caused so much trouble for us, and the reason I booked him, because he got some dirt on us. And he threatened to take, take it to the musical press. He was going to tell Folk Roots magazine all about our history. So I had to book him. But, you know, if you're out there, if you're a booker, forget it. Forget it. He drove the audience to the merchandise store straight away. Well, I used to be John Mostyn. Now I'm the fella at the third bench along used to have a career in the music business, glittering career, hit records all over the world, world was at my feet, then I met Jerry Colvin. Jerry Colvin and the band. I mean, they're just a bunch of animals. They're a bunch of absolute morons. Jerry Colvin, it's, it's just embarrassing. You know, you want people to try hard. But really, the numbers of people that were walking out, we had people in tears, kids asking to be adopted rather than be taken to some of his gigs. And it's just, it's just shocking. And to think that I'm in the same genre, it's just, I don't know. I really, really don't know why, why it's not been taken into care. I hate Jerry Colvin. I send him the wrong address for a gig, so he turns up late. When he's on stage, I drink his rider. I tell him he's not going to be paid for three months, but nothing, nothing wipes that bloody smile off his face. Not nothing, there's no one here. What was he thinking? That's so typical of Jerry Colvin to recommend a beach bar. And we've flown hundreds of miles to be here today. And look, just look at it, there's nothing, I can't even get a strawberry mojito. Jerry, honestly, it's just, it's just what he's like all the time. It was obviously, it was obviously, you know, up and running in, back in the day when he was successful, many years ago. Simon Fowler from Ocean Colour Scene. I'm here in the art of the Warwickshire countryside. This is where Jerry and I live. We both live in thatched cages. I've known Jerry for about 75 years, if you know what I mean, and he's a very infectious bloke and a very infectious performer, which means that every time I see him, I make sure I'm pumped up. 
on antibiotics or that penicillin in them. Well, I've booked Jerry here a few times with the Blue Piano. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to book him here again. Every time he comes here, he'll walk in the bar, won't shut up, cracking all these jokes. And when it comes to his set, he, all he does is pay his own material. He doesn't do any covers. I don't know what that's about. He expects to be fed and watered every time. Dinner, drinks. Last time he came, I offered him a lovely glass of white wine, but he refused because he said all white wine tastes like cat piss, the ungrateful sod. I am the bell, I am the oar, I am the stone, I am the bait. I am the bell, I am the oar, I am the stone, I am the Under the ground, I am the vein, the minor has found. Oh, you're very, very kind. What's it like to be in the Jerry Colvin band? All right. What's his songs like? All right. Hi, I'm Mike Davis. Over the years, I've written for any number of prestigious magazines and newspapers, internationally, nationally, local. Then I started to review Jerry Colvin's albums. These days, I'd be lucky to write for The Watchtower. I also present a radio programme. I play a Jerry Colvin track. I have never had so many people turn off in one show ever. Listen to the beating of their wings Moving to the rhythm of the wind Lying on our backs watching feathers fall from the There's a lot of really great music out there, you know, on the folk and associated scenes, but I'll tell you one thing, Jerry Colby's got nothing to do with any of that stuff. I mean, people say he's consistent, and I'd agree. I mean, you know, he's consistently unreliable. Hopeless. This news just in. None of us is getting any younger, and Jerry Colvin's no exception. For the sake of his own health, don't book Jerry Colvin. It's no good for him bounding energetically around the stage these days. He's not up to it anymore. And the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. We are the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. I am the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm hey, join me. Well, really, it's a, I hate to say this, but it's a personal hygiene issue. You know, Jerry Colvin gets in your face. He, he is very direct. You know how he performs? Well, that's what he's like in real life. He's right up in your face, which is fine, except that he always has garlic for breakfast. This broken heart you left behind the hell out of me Beats out of time I hate those words All things heal Yes, I'm the man with the watch Where time stands still This broken man
this is one, one, two. Yeah, well, more people might turn up. That, you know, we're not on till we're, we're not on for another five minutes, so you, you never know. And, and it, it, yeah, it'll, it'll be all right. No, it'll, it's at least well, at least we got um, at least we got one more person than last time. You know. Didn't we? Yeah, we're we're at Tinkley Act. Yeah, we're at the gig. Do you all stand? Uh, hi, Jerome. You yeah, we're at the gig. Like? Um, just wondered where you were. Thank you. <laughs> you're three vocal mics. What? Three vocal mics. Up. You're not. You're not coming. Simple to speak. Thank you. Um, okay, mate. Uh, any particular reason? Uh, any particular other reason? <laughs> you're on. You've got a gig with Kathleen Turner. Okay, mate. Thank you. No, no, I understand. Yeah. Well, yeah. That no, that's fine. Sense? That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've doubled the audience this time. Yeah, well, well there's, uh, yeah, there's one. All right, I'll um, I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. Put my phone down on me. Thank you, Hinkley. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yes! Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. And we doubled the audience. Well done. Well done. Yeah, well done. Yeah, no, it was great doing this with the kids. I've got to get up. Yeah, there's no problem. No problem. I've got to get back to London. Yeah, so we'll probably get more of it. How did you? That's what we said last time. And we'll get, we're, we're getting better though. Ta yeah, thanks, Len, Len, yeah, ta thanks, Len. Yeah, yeah. Sit, thank you. Hey, hey, rock and roll, eh? Hey. Jerry Coleman and his little songs that he makes up, doesn't he? In his little room, his little special music room, sitting there on his own. Making up songs. I'm driving through Kingsland Town. I'm listening to that unique sound. Can't believe a voice like his came from a town as small as this. That Nashville Leon guy sold me a letter of authenticity. I know it's a lie, you see. But I'm blinded by idolatry Cause I'm wearing Johnny Cash's shoes The ones from Folsom Prison Blues You're a heel if you say I hate Got the soul of a sinner and the tongue of a saint Remember that name, Jerry Coleman, and be careful And remember I told you about it, all right? Should have been the fourth in the Tennessee Three. High women are a rockabilly. Said to be at the Grand Ole Prix. Do I look like you or do you look like me? Cause I'm wearing Johnny Cash's studs. Out of respect to the thing I love. Don't be shy.
Mr. Jerry Colvin. God bless you. Don't forget Jerry Colvin's back. They look good and they sound good. Thank you. 